a read that is demonstrating a lot of the things that I encounter with a read that's just a little too heavy in a couple of spots. So I thought I would do a quick demonstration as to what my read test basically is, and then try to show you where I'm going to scrape to solve the problem with the read. So here's the read as it is. It's almost done. There's not too much left to do with this, but this is a prime example of the test that I usually do. Hold on. Okay, so this read is very stable and kind of stuffy, especially in the very bottom register. So the test is pretty simple. We need to balance this note, E3, with this note, D2. Now, they're probably pretty in tune, but they're they're not balanced with each other. And these two notes are the two fussiest notes on the bassoon in terms of balancing the two of them. So you can do all sorts of specific tests for specific notes on the, on the instrument. You can do the harmonic checking and you know, there's all sorts of things you can do. But basically, if the reed is too hard, low D isn't happy. And if the reed is too soft, the first finger E isn't happy. So we have to balance how hard it is, how soft it is, so that those two notes are happy. And if that's working, then everything else usually works fine. So here's, here's that E. The first finger E test is like this. Now, I, I can't make it sag. I mean, I really have to push hard to make it sag, I should say. Low D, though, it kind of collapses on me. It doesn't have enough richness and fullness compared to what I know other notes in the bottom of the instrument can do. If I try to push it too hard, it gets really growly. So I'm going to look at the reed under my lamp. And I'm going to try to find, oh yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> Let's try this. Nope, no way. Okay, so this isn't going to work on this <laughs> on the cell phone video, but that's okay. So I'm looking through the reed with my mandolin, clear plaque, and I'm going to look at the the reed through through the reed. Uh, I'm going to look at the light, and I'm going to see that basically what I'm looking at is that oh that might work pretty well. You can see the light coming through the corners. This is not as distinct as, as it looks to me when I'm looking at the lamp. It's basically really dark from here back, and particularly in the middle. Sides and the rails are pretty good, but right in the middle is still pretty heavy. And the heart is good, but this kind of spot from here back, like where the heart blends into the back two-thirds of the reed, is still a little heavy. So it's not well blended that's going to make that D really stiff. So I'm going to look really carefully and make sure that your scraping technique is good, right? So I'm going to, first I'm blending the heart area. Scrapey, scrapey, scrapey. I'm going to check the other side. Yep, got to do the same thing to the other side. And the, the back is so close that I'm not going to go right in with a knife. I'm going to use my file for this. So I'm just going to set the file down like this and scrape that way with the file. I'm going to do it against my cutting block. So you're not, you're not going to be able to see this. This is really impromptu. Just kind of going over the whole back area of the reed a little bit, like the back two thirds. So I basically just use the file from here to here. Yeah. All the way to the collar, because that's the shoulder and the collar is where a lot of that low register comes from. I always clean it with a toothbrush. And go over it with 1000 grit sandpaper. Doo -doo -doo. Much more complex crow than I was getting a moment ago, too. OK, 
Got the bassoon back. Okay, now I can make the E sag. That's actually promising. But the D is so much more rich. Normal playing circumstances, that E is going to be perfectly stable. So that is like the primary test that I do when I'm working on my reads. I'm checking low D, first finger E, and that is the balance I'm looking for. So you always start with the reed that's a little on the heavy side, hopefully, and you're basically scraping until the D is happy, but the E isn't too soft. <laughs> closing up on me a little bit, but that's normal for a brand new read. Let's see if you can see the shading on that. And there's the, that's the tip opening. It's just a little closed. All right.